Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it's great to be back here with you again. We have a continuation of our boar blasting roguelite mining adventure. Whoa, some kind of magnetic anomaly down below. Can you find it and grab a reading for me? Well, of course we can. Now, if you were with me last time, you'll recall that we had just a, a wonderful time adventuring down here in the mines, grabbing all the sweet cash and gems and upgrades, but we also opened up a new capability. It's going to allow us to have a shotgun blast of some kind, and so I'd definitely like to maybe run into an opportunity to see that fire off this time. And I'm hoping that it'll pop up uh, sometime across our run. We'll have to see. Cross our fingers, right? Cheers to you! I am out here enjoying that new dark roast that uh, my wife picked me up recently from uh, a roaster called Hetty Cup. Ooh, speaking of, the scatter loader. Lower fire rate, blast them in the face. I would love to blast them in the face. Okay, so that's interesting. It's definitely a lower rate of fire. And I'm trying to decide if I like it. I, I don't know if I like it yet. I, I almost feel like the other gun is perhaps a little bit better, but I, I'm not sure. It, it is a, a concentrated blast of fire. You know, we're not running into enemies yet, so I think I'm just going to go with the periodic blast of energy. Yeah, maybe this is okay. Let's, uh, let's use it a little bit more, and I guess if we could see it up against enemies, uh, that would be helpful as well in, in determining how great it is. Okay, increase bullet range, throw more bombs. Let's, let's go more bombs. Love seeing all the fuel. Uh, you know, we picked up that boost where more fuel blocks uh, appear in our runs, and uh, it, it's super helpful. Now, if you take a look at our depth tracker off to the top left corner, kind of. Ooh, now this would be interesting with this shotgun blast. Oh, but you know what? It slowed it down even more, too. Huh. Well, as long as we're not fighting enemies, I think this will work out okay. But we can confirm that if you go with two modifiers to your rate of fire and they talk about you know slowing it down, they do stack. Nuts and bolts! That thing's bigger than I thought. Get out of there! Now, I wonder if we're going to get attacked here at this point. Oh, jeez. All right, we're getting pulled in. I I don't know if there's anything I can do about this. I'm definitely trying to get out. Maybe we just got to survive the onslaught for a moment here. I can't tell if this thing is expanding further doesn't appear to be anymore. Well, I'm definitely stuck. Seems like a good opportunity to take a sip of coffee, doesn't it? Well, I guess these, these dudes are in the area. Let's toss that out there. All right, come on, guys. It's not funny anymore. You got to let me out. All 
I figured it would free us. No? I'm going to go ahead and say that I believe this magnet adventure is bugged out at this point and we're gonna see if we can pick another area and hopefully not run into the magnet situation again sometimes these missions repeat Listen, I'm sorry about last time. I didn't know it would be quite so dangerous. Oh. If it helps, I got some intriguing data out of your untimely demise. I'll try to make something useful out of it. Have this in the meantime. Oh. Okay. So, we were supposed to die there, I guess. Interesting. Well, then I take back what I said about it being bugged out but I will say that at least for me that was a little bit unclear that we were just perma stuck I mean I I started to think that there was something wrong with the game I'm gonna actually skip the scatter loader I didn't love that I think I favor the faster shots overall All right, so we're back on track. I guess uh, there wasn't a problem at all. Ooh, a new block. That's probably gonna bring new enemy types is my guess. We're in like a lava-ish biome now. That's interesting. Interesting and deadly is my guess. Okay, I'm gonna go increase damage will definitely help with getting through these tougher rocks. Oh, wow. All right, we are really going to have to be careful here, turns out. Let's grab this fuel. And let's go with the drill. If, if we can upgrade that drill one more time, it's, it's very good. You've probably seen that happen a few times along the way. All right. Now oh, we're cutting through. Now, last time I talked about how it was a busy day at work, and, you know, I'm coming at this uh, in the morning before the day really gets going, but uh, it's, it's going to be another one of those days. Oh, I think I destroyed the treasure chest and converted it. I wasn't aware that I could do that. So I hope your day ends up being more relaxing than mine. I, I think mine's going to be another long and long and tough one. Oh, man. It's these guys. Creepy crawlies. When I was little, we had a toy called Creepy Crawlers. You remember this? Maybe some of you had Creepy Crawlers. It was like an easy bake oven for gel creatures that you would cook up. And then, you know, you could stick them on a pencil. You know, or play with them. Depending on what type of creature you'd make, but 
you know, you, you filled up these tins with goop, and then you put the tin-filled, or I guess goop-filled tins into this uh, creepy crawler baking machine, and it, it just baked them up, and then you had, uh, you had some creatures to play with. It was fun. And of course, they came out with new sets along the way. The Universal Monsters set came out, if I remember right. Make Frankenstein and Drac and all those guys. It was fun. Alright, I don't know if we're going to make it out of this one. Let's see what we got here. Let's go increased fire rate. Oh, man. Oh, that's that's a new guy. All right, we're going to grab the fuel for sure. I kind of want that chest, but not enough to actually get it. There's some fuel again. Ooh. Dang. These guys just kind of leap out. It's, it's interesting. You don't always see them until it's too late. Right, I'm trying to stay the course here. Ultimately, I don't know which way we're going to have to head once we get down there, but we are almost down there. I'm going to go more electric orbs, just have those flying around everywhere to help with the uh, bug population that's happening. Here's some fuel. Let's grab that. Might need it. We're going to go with the blast wave just to double down on some protection from the bugs. But we're getting there. I think we're going to make it out. Not necessarily a monster run in terms of the, the gold we're coming back with, but I just feel good about surviving this one at this point. Yeah, I'll take the 70,000. New unlock, anti-matter generator. Create vortexes that attract and damage enemies. Oh, interesting. So kind of like the magnet that we got stuck in. Can use that same tech against these guys, apparently. Um, just thinking if there's anything I can't live without at this point. I think this might be interesting. This might be interesting to get to, and it's not too expensive, so let's go with that. And let's try our hand at one more run. Go a little bit wider out, right? Let me go back to the missile barrage. I, I kind of missed that one. Hmm, odd. I think my instruments are busted. I am detecting gems in motion. Please investigate. All right. Gems in motion. Interesting. Hard to not take advantage of an explodey vein, you know? Yeah, I am a fan of that. All right, let's go with the reflective bullets. I think those are pretty awesome. 
Uh, look how much better we're chewing through this stuff just with the reflective bullets. Tremendous. This is just another one of those games that is great at making you feel powerful when you get to that mid to late game. Opened up a lot of uh, upgrades. Just feels good coming back and being able to just pound through these areas. You're like, fuel issues? What fuel issues? I don't have any stinking fuel issues. Alright, I think we'll do that. You know, we're already blasting bullets everywhere via the reflection. Why don't we just send more of them everywhere? The shotgun blast approach, right? Ooh, big chest. Big, big chest. Outstanding. Okay. You know, the, the thing is, there's no enemies yet. Right, I'm going to go with it anyways. There we go. Oh, hey, they showed up. All right, turns out these vortex fields are pretty cool. By the ancients, it can't be. That's a treasure golem. Quick, mine it. Oh, goodness. All right, look at that. A treasure golem. Blast them with missiles, too. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, we got treasure golems now, folks. This game just gets weirder and weirder in all the right ways. And I like how they're constantly introducing new stuff. Whether it's an ability or a new type of block or new enemies... I mean, the game has been doing that. You know how long we've been playing. You've been along for the ride. They're constantly adding new stuff. It's really neat. All right. I am thinking damage again. Let's grab this chest over here. Oh wow, we're not even halfway there yet. Just realizing that now, I better uh, put things into high gear here in terms of heading south. All right, there's some fuel, I'm happy to see that. Perfect. Um, let's go with blocks and gems, since again, we've got a little bit further to go here, should have plenty of time to take advantage of that. Outstanding on the gold and resources, it's great. 
All right, this green stuff is definitely more durable. But our damage upgrades are, are certainly helping. Oh, another new block. That usually means another new something is about to show up as well. We have lava block here. Let's go with more bullets again. Oh, wow. I see we've hit 235,000. That's crazy. All right, we're about a little bit more than three-fourths of the way there. If we could find more fuel along the way, that'd be wonderful. But this is going to be a monster run regardless. We're at basically 250,000. Oh, I need that big chest. You know we do. Getting closer and closer to empty. Don't love that. And when I'm seeing this lava block, I'm hoping that it's fuel every time, you know? They, they look very similar. At least in color. And I wish we got just a, kind of a, just a hint at what direction we're going to be heading you know, on our way down, because that, that can really make the difference. The run just, you know, completely going south in, in the last, see, yeah, this is, this is going to be... This is going to be impossible, I'm thinking, unless some fuel shows up right down here. Yeah. Folks, we know what's going to happen. We know. And that's okay, because we're bringing back 350 large. I mean, that's a serious increase in depth. 868. We made it about 800. Let's see what we can grab here. So that's going to be 693,000 to increase the flight time duration. Don't have that on hand yet, but we can upgrade the bullets per second, which does help. It does help, and it makes us even more of a monster out there, and we like being a monster, right? Folks, it's a game called Boar Blasters. It's a mining roguelike game where you're this crazy gyrocopter going through areas, blowing shit up, and having a good time. That's what it's all about, right? Especially on these tougher days where you just want, you just want to get in there and start blasting. You know, if you know, you know, and, and a lot of you know. So, uh, thanks for coming along for the ride. If you are new here, we would love for you to not be new here anymore. Uh, keep hanging out with us. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like. Leave a comment. Do all the things because, uh, well, it just, it, it just, it's a great place to be. All right? You're going to have to take my word for it. Uh, let's do this again sometime soon. We'll get together. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because we do that every time. And uh, we'll give away a video game at least once a week. We like doing those too. And we can do those because of you. In fact, we're going to give away 200 games in 2024. That's, uh, well, that's that's two times what we did in 2023 because math. All right. I hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll see you again out there soon. Take care.